Hey ev everyone, it's that time again, uh, posting a new video. Um, this time it is a unboxing video of, well, the evolutions of these two bays right here. I got Twin Nemesis, or Noctimus, um, from the Switch Strike, and I can't, I think this is Magma Ifrit from Switch Strike is also, as well. Yeah. So real quickly, before we go into the new stuff, let's go over the old stuff. So we've got pretty much the cool thing with Noctimus is it came with the same part as Doom Sizer, right? And then we've got an interesting setup on Efrit, right? We came it came with um with the same forge disc as um Excalibur. And then we get this cool little um performance tip right here. I can't remember what this one is called, but you know, it's cool because it, you know, had this little ball. I mean, this little rotating wheel, right? Um, the gimmick was basically like, if it got hit, you know, it would jolt from side to side rather than just spinning around, right? So when it got hit, it would jolt back and then come back into it. Didn't really work, but it was kind of a cool setup. Um, yeah, so with that being said, those are those two bays right there. The old twin. Oh, yeah, and then Noct, uh, Nemesis. Nemesis is, was weird because it seemed like it was like Spryzen where, you know, oh, yeah, if you switched it one way, it would go, you know, left mode. But if you switched it the other, then it would do something else. No, not really. It just kind of changed how it, like, hit, basically. There was really no difference on, like... This piece right here just, yeah, it really just does about it. All right, so moving on, let's move those guys out. Well, let's put them back together real quick. Oh, yeah, and uh, for anybody who doesn't have those QR codes, here's uh, Magma Ifrit. And then I'm going to, sorry, I hate Noctimus. Uh, there we go. There is Twin Noctimus. All right, let's set those guys off to the side there. And I'm gonna raise the camera a little bit. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different with my camera angles. Instead of having them preset, I will move them as needed to get better camera angles. So we'll move these guys right here, boom, and boom. So here we go, moving into quad drive. We've got Stone Nemesis, well, it's kind of funny how they use Nemesis this time around instead of Noctimus, but hey, whatever. Um, so we got Stone Nemesis and Destruction Efreter. Mm, guys, I'm super excited. All right, let's, uh, there we go. There's the parts. The stats that really make no sense, right? And then it tells you like the combinations. So we've got an attack and then we've got a stamina. So nothing really changed on that. Both of them were are still the same as they were. Um, let me see how I'm going to open this. Ah, here we go. So let's get into the unboxing. We will open it from the bottom, and there we go. There we go. Um, is this going to be a sad day? I thought one of I thought one of the base came in broken. I was about to be kind of sad there. Okay, so yep, yeah, all the product is out. Let's go ahead and there is the performance tip for Eferter, the uh, performance tip for Noctimus, the weight for Noctimus. Then we've got. Let me move this up a little bit more, you guys, just so then that way I can get a better angle of these parts. So the tip. So honestly, let's let's go over part by part, right? So the performance tip is actually kind of similar in shape and design, right? The old performance tip, the new performance tip. So that's cool. It's pretty much the same performance tip. Um, and who is this? I think this is, okay, so this is e -fritter. So we're gonna, I'm sorry guys, my, my recording angle is not working out today. Okay, 
Move this stuff over here, right? Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. All right, now we're gonna untissue paper. And then we've got the stone nemesis layer. That's pretty cool. Yep, pretty cool. There we go. Oh yeah, QR code for you guys right there. Boom, stone nemesis. Um, so what we will do first is pop out this, right? So we get it all layer. So we get it all layer by layer. I don't know if this is gonna work out because it seems like my camera angle wants to fight me every single step of the way this time. All right, so, yeah. So we've got Stone Nemesis versus Twin Noctimus right here. The color scheme is almost the same. Um, the only difference is instead of using, they added one more color and they added this green color, which is, you know, Interesting because green represents usually defense. Um, I could see the stone layer being good for defense. The rest of the setup is not really a defensive setup. I mean, that is that is uh, not really a defensive yeah part right there. This one is used on slash uh, sword Valkyrie or whatever it is. The the new Valkyrie. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, that that latest Valkyrie. Yeah. That's on that, so definitely for the most part, it's all attack parts. So the only part I see being good for defense is stone, and maybe that's why they chose green, is because they're like, hey guys, use it for defense. Um, we'll uh, go into that along later. So let's, uh, so yeah, we got the stone there. Looks really good. I like the detail on it, it's really subtle. Um, the only thing I would say is they should have added green right here and right there. These should have been green, and that would have been perfect. Um, the chip, I don't know, man. That just looks... I don't like the urine color coating they used for it. I mean, it looks like somebody just urinated all over this chip. Maybe if they would have just gone with a clear and then did the green. Or, like, black. Yeah, maybe, maybe instead of this, like, urine color green, you know... Slime color green. There we go. We'll color it. We'll call it slime color green. So maybe instead of the slime color green, maybe done black. That would have been cool. But it is what it is. Um. So yeah, let's put it back together. So then that way we can get into the other two. Um. Maybe. Okay. Boom. Uh, screw it. We'll put it in Apex mode. There you go. That's what it looks like in Apex. Uh, high mode. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, hey. Yeah, we got a defensive tip. There we go. So, yeah. We got a defense tip. And then we got a, the attack tip. So, that's cool. So, yeah, it makes sense then, the color scheme. The only, the only weird part is I probably... Instead of this, this the armor being um, the one that comes with the, the with Valkyrie, I probably would have chosen like Bahamut or um, Bahamut Spryzen or um, I'm having a brain fart right now, guys, or like Ragnarok or you know. Definitely not an attack because well no actually no I could see that yeah because with the with the what the armor it actually balances out the, the the build because yeah with this being an attack piece this being an attack piece and then this can interchange between attack and defense yeah I could see that being a decent bay all right so we'll leave that in high mode we'll put Nemesis back together uh, I could make a stars joke right there but we won't and we'll save that we'll save the uh, the stars, the, the Resident Evil joke for another time. All right, so now we're gonna go into Destructor Ifrit and compare it with
we'll compare it with Magma Ifrit. Such a beautiful lair, guys. That is, jeez, that is just beautiful. Okay, enough gawking about that. This has probably become my new favorite Hasbro Bay. All right. I'll move those pieces out of the way, move those over here. Actually, this is what we'll do instead. Boom, boom, boom. That's why my camera angles are fighting me. God, I really need to come up with a better system, guys. All right, so yeah, here we go. We have Magma Effort and um, um, Efforter. So the one thing that is weird is the tip. Is this kick? I can't tell if this is kick or not, but it looks like kick. <laughs> let me let me let me pull out vanished Fafnir real quick, you guys, because I'm pretty sure that's kick. And it's not the tip that's supposed to come on Ebrider. So actually I do have the tip out right here. That's supposed to come on Ebrider. Well, Ebrid. <clears throat> as far as anime accurate. So, with this being said, you guys, the performance tip that's advertised in the anime with Ifrit is this, right? Is this tip. Right. Okay. Well, let's... That looks like kick. That straight up looks like kick. Let me... Let me find um, Vanish real quick, because now that we got, oh, shoot, now that we got confirmation on this, right? Oh wait, I could just pull out um, TT Vanish Fafni, right? You guys, they straight up just like gave us kick. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it would have been cool if we would have gotten. I forget what this driver is called, you guys, and I feel bad. It would have been cool if we got that driver as you know the release driver, but it is what it is. Okay, moving on. Um, it's still cool though that we got this bay with um, who knows, maybe with this new lineup of um DB bays coming out, maybe we'll get Efrit. You know, I know that's been a bay that everybody's wanted, Efrit, 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 and we never got Efrit. We got it in Hasbro, but they gave us kick. So, with that being said, um, let's, okay, so they did something weird. I don't like it because then it just doesn't work out. Like if this, if the disc would have been attached to this, then it would have been the same driver that came with Efrit in the anime. But the fact that they're like, oh yeah, we'll just throw kick on it. And there we go. Mm, no, that's not how it works, guys. Um, moving on. So, I mean, the kick driver for the Hasbro stuff, I like it. It's a lot better than the kick driver with um, Vanished Fafnir and the Takara Tomy stuff because the, the spring-loaded offset does really nothing, and it just makes the bay lose stamina. So, moving on, then we've got, uh, what is this, Nexus? Yeah, Nexus. It's nice. Um, I have another Nexus weight right here for TT. We can do a comparison real quick. So, yeah, they feel about the same. Hasbro, Takara Tomy. I like the fact that the Hasbro is shinier. <laughs> it's probably because it hasn't been used or abused yet. Um, so, and then this comes on, uh, this armor comes on Rock Devore, if I remember right. The uh, prize Rock Devore. Let me grab it real quick because I went out of my way to buy that one or is it just regular rock devore no that's um sorry guys I'm like all over the place right now and I hate it because I don't know where any of my stuff is at because I haven't touched it in a while yeah so I have it on Spryzen right but this is the this is the prize armor that comes on the prize rock devore the red one so yeah that's cool I mean we got the the, we got technically the prize armor. So, cool. Um, 
I like the setup with Ifrit. I mean, that is just that is an interesting setup, guys. Like, it's it it it, it has more of like a. It has more of an ominous feel to it than it does like a cool Beyblade feel. The brown with the the tannish gold and then the dark accents. Like, dude, that that darker chip just oh, it flashes. Unlike what they did to Noctimus, and they're like, hey, you know what? We're gonna half it and make it look like somebody peed on this chip. So, so yeah, this 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 is beautiful. Okay, enough nerding out about the, uh, so we saw how it looked in, um, low mode, right? So now let's go ahead and if I can put a Beyblade together, God, that is my only other complaint, guys, is these freaking bays are hard to put together. Maybe I'm just dumb, but let me know in the comments if you guys feel like these are a lot harder to put together because Jesus. Like, I almost broke Fafnir last time because I couldn't get this to slide on. Okay, give me just one second, guys. I'm having technical difficulties right now. There we go. All right, cool. Ooh, I actually kind of like that in high mode. It's a shame I might paint, I might paint this armor <laughs> just to kind of make it match a little bit maybe you know the uh maybe this maroon color yeah maybe that maroon color that that just oh you know what for uh for just aesthetically a ple pleasing uh, come on i'm gonna take it off of Spryzen real quick dude you guys you cannot tell me that looks dope. That is just beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this armor the same as this. That way, oh man, that is, that'll look just so beautiful. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint that armor red. Um, I'll post updates of it when I do. <sighs> okay. I know it won't be stock and some people might have a tissy fit about it, but hey, at the end of the day, it is my bait and yeah. So yeah, high mode. High mode looks pretty cool. I like it. All right, now let's put Efrit back together and we will get into some test battles. I'm sorry guys, we are at 17 minutes. I spent a lot of time nerding out and now I gotta make up for it. All right, so test battle time. Yay, everybody's favorite part. Like I said, I'm kind of took a little bit of a break, you guys. I had to get some headspace going. I had a lot of stuff going on and in my life right now and I kind of put making videos on the back burner so let's there we go all right well, let's do the Noctimus battle first um, we'll do low mode and high mode right now it's in high mode with the original tip on three two one go shoot really okay All right, I hate these new launchers, man. I really do. I really hate them. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Okay. Let's bring this down a little bit, get a better viewing angle for you guys. We got like a slight hit going on, but nothing too major. Okay, now we got some contact. It looks like, yep, when Noctimus took the first win. Um, lost a little bit of um, slope there. Let's get this in. It's, oh yeah, so another thing too, you guys. Um, so I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but when these bays are put together, you cannot take off the, the tip. It locks into place. So in order to take off the tip, you actually have to disassemble the bay and take the tip off because it actually locks into place when the tab is pushed down. Okay, so now we're in defense high. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot. 
Ooh. And knocked him his four legs. But it self-destructs because it hits the spike. I'm sorry, I had to use the snake pit, you guys. The snake pit was coming out in this video. So, you know, I figured with the switch strike base. Um, so Noctimus was in the this mode with the yellow triangles covered up. So now we're going to expose those yellow triangles, right? Because we're switching in a different mode. And this is supposed to be the heavier, of the, the better of the two modes. And, you know, so why not use the better against low mode? So right now we have the defense tip out, so we'll just keep the defense tip out. Um, we will, oh wait, I don't know if I got you guys that QR code. There you go, let's go. QR code for Stone Noctimus. Oh my god, it's so hard to take out. Okay, put the armor right there. So, honestly guys, this is going to be a longer video, and I do apologize. Um, I spent so much time nerding out about Beyblade stuff. And it's been, uh, uh you know, <sighs> yeah. So I got to get back into the groove, some people will call it, and I will get there. All right. So now, boom, boom. Okay, so now we have low mode defense. I don't even remember what they call them. I know one's apex and the other is something, but whatever. Three, two, one, go shoot. As I was just throwing Beyblades everywhere. All right, let's... uh. Reshoot that. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. So, let's talk about that real quick, because uh, <laughs> um, Stone Nemesis self-destructed. So that is a win for Noctimus. There was some light contact. Um, Stone got pushed into this tip, this little ball right here, and then just blew up. It was nuts. You guys saw it firsthand. It just, it came over here, hit this, and then just. So, with that being said, let me grab the performance tip that I threw under my couch, which is right here. Okay. So yeah, we all saw that. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> all right, guys. So with that being said, yeah. So like right now, like it's hard to see it really, but yeah, you see how the tab is pushed down. So with the tab being pushed down, even if you were to try and lock it into place, it's not going to, and you'll just you'll just um, risk breaking the tip and the driver as a whole. So yeah, definitely take these bays apart when you put those tips on. All right, reset this launcher real quick because my launcher's busted. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. All right, so this will be the last round between the Noctimuses, and then we will go into the Efrits. No contact yet, but I have a feeling, yep. And we got a burst, you guys. Twin Nemesis came out swinging, and it said it is not messing around. Uh, so, Twin Nemesis right there took all the dubs against the new platform. That just tells you how great this Beyblade still is. I mean, we'll just, I, I'll probably, I'll probably, you know, <laughs> switch up the tips and see if it makes it any better. But moving forward, we have Destructor Efrit. Versus regular Efrit. Okay, and then Magmar Efrit. This should be a good battle. One of my favorite bays, like, this was the first Switch Strike bay I bought. When Switch Strike first came out, this was the first one I bought was Efrit. I thought it just, I thought this bay looked so cool, and it was just, oh, you, you just, and now that we got this, and it just looks, Dude, oh my god, it it's it's just got so much justice to it. And I love how the they used the Bilal layer, but they tweaked it to where the blades are facing the opposite direction. Okay, so anyways, the first round, I can't even remember, so we'll just do a relaunch. 
Three, two, one, go shoot. So yeah, you saw how Efer went around like this and then swerved back. That's what that gimmick's actually supposed to do. I have a feeling that Magmar Efrit is actually gonna win this. That's surprising. That's really surprising. Okay, so we were in high mode with the kick tip on. We're gonna take it apart and expose the actual tip that's supposed to be on Efrit, but it's not the actual tip. I'm sorry, I just, I can't get over that. It, it just, it's irritating, you guys. It's, it's really irritating. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Ooh, I heard that. Okay, I still feel like it's probably gonna be a mag, uh, Magmar Efrit win. Just because Destructor's already starting to slow down. Yeah, it's already slowing down. And there we go. We have a, a magma, the, the, a magma, a magma Efrit win. There we go. Holy crap. Oh yeah, here you go. QR code. Boom. Right there. I'm sorry. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, you guys, but I hope you enjoy it. I mean, I make videos for my own pleasure, but at the same time, you know, I like to make, I hope, I hope that you all enjoy these videos. Maybe if I screw up on something, you're like, oh, ha, ha, he, he said something wrong, you know, hey, you know what? All right, so we're going to leave the performance tip out, well, exposed, and then we'll put kick on. All right, three, two, one, go shoot. We got some good hits this time, guys. Maybe we might get a burst. Oh! Dude, we got a burst! That's nuts! That, that was great. Oh my gosh, we got a burst. All right, cool. So we got one burst so far and a couple L's against so this guy is losing three now this one's losing two because the burst is worth two points and this one's only managed to get survivor finishes um and then we will do the two bays that came with the set actually i'm kind of curious okay so now we're in low mode with the kick tip on there all right Okay, kick tip on. And reset the camera angle there. My rug kind of slipped. So everything you guys see, there's no editing involved. And I do apologize about that. I don't know how to edit, but it is what it is. Okay, three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, that was a horrible launch. Try again. Go shoot. Well, that happened. It launched right into the to destructor and, you know, KO'd. So, that's four points to three points. The new Efrit wins. <laughs> so, you really can't argue that. All right. So, let's do these two. The two that came with the set, right? Three, two, one. Go shoot. That was a really unfair advantage, but that's a burst. That is a burst. That was a really unfair advantage. So now we're gonna leave the performance tip alone, but we will put in high. That was, that was nuts. I wish I could replay that. Just like show you guys that, that, that carnage that just happened right there. Okay, so now we have it in high mode. 
I'm going to do high versus high and low versus low. I'm not going to do low versus high, low versus... That is just going to take way too long, guys, and I don't have the, the, the mental capacity to do that right now. That'll just... Oof. Especially with it only just being me. Maybe if I had somebody else, you know, it'd be a different story. But with it just being me, no. <laughs> just no. Okay. And boom. Now we are in high mode. High versus high. Same performance tips. Reset the launcher. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Reset the launcher. Shoot. All right, got some good contact. Dude, and Efrid just burst Noctimus again. We know who the MVP of this match is. We're just gonna let that spin out there and let it do its thing. Let me find Vanish Pop here real quick. Let's let's find Vanish. I already found it. So, and we're gonna switch up stadiums because I like the Pro Series Stadium a lot better. That is probably my favorite stadium because I mean, dude, it's so big. Especially with that sticker I put in there too. Look at that. You cannot tell me that's just a beautiful looking stadium now. And I'm throwing Beyblade parts everywhere. I apologize. Like, these, these Pro Series stadiums are just beautiful. They got a nice little concave to them, and yeah, you just can't get any better than that. So, next we will do, let's do Efrit versus Fafnir. I, I want to see who is the better at stamina. Is it going to be Fafnir, or is it going to be Efrit? So, with that being said, let's pull out some Pro Series launchers. Boom. Pro Series launchers. Oh yeah, there you go. There's that QR code for you guys. Okay. So, we've got Efrit in high. We'll keep it in high mode. Let's lock that into place. Let's get Fafnir. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. All right, guys. Efrit versus Fafner. It is on. And it looks like the match is Fafner's. Okay. Okay, now let's put Efrit in low mode. <clears throat> there is one thing I want to do real quick, just 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 to have some fun, right? Because everything's about having fun with Beyblade. Let's have some fun real quick. So what I want to do, let's put this this quirky little driver right on Efrit and see what happens. Probably a lot of scraping. I'm not gonna lie. Probably a lot of scraping. No, let's do the whole. Let's do the old Efrit setup completely. On new Efrit. Yeah, we got this back. Oh no, it's not gonna work. Damn. Okay, old driver then. Old driver Efrit. Boom. Oh, dude, so much scraping is gonna happen. I apologize in advance. But there's nothing we could do about it. All right, so. With this being said, both bays are in low mode. We are going the new Efrit combo versus Fafnir. Okay. Dude! I'm speechless. It went in, attacked a couple times, and then just burst. And you guys saw the lair went right here, and then a came out of the stadium. I don't even know where it went. It like became a, well, it fell under my couch. Became a, pro, a, pro, a projectile, holy. 
Hey, look, me speechless. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to end it with that because this has been a 35-minute video. And if you do watch it, thank you for sticking around this long. Um, yeah, as always, I appreciate whatever support comes my way. I'm new at doing this, and I try, I'm try. i trying to provide good content. I thought this would be good content, so let me know. Have a good night.